Alright, well, good morning. It's uh, January 21st, 2023, here at Marsh Creek. Um, temperature, let me see, oops. My watch is saying that the temperature is about 35 degrees out the air temperature, kind of gray and overcast, you can see. And uh, the reason we're here today, waiting for one of my other friends, um, gonna really try out, see how our dry suits work out in cold water we wear them all the time and really don't know never never been in them in cold water so um do a little bit of paddling and uh and seeing what it's like but first thing i want to do is see what the actual water temperature is so we've got an instant read thermometer and uh we'll get a get a water temperature so i didn't bring any like my fish finder or any of that stuff so went very basic all right got my instant read thermometer here it's still it says it's 43 degrees, but it was in the in the truck for a while in a bag, so it's it's open there. So you can see I'm gonna just stick in the water until we get a good water temperature here. So all right, so it looks like we're about 38 and a half degrees. So call it 39. All right, so that's kind of the water temperature we're gonna talk about today. So. Got the whole lake to ourselves, so we'll see. All right, we are now here. Got my my fishing buddy. Got our kayaks. It's already cold, but we got our dry suits on, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna try this out. So I think we can walk in the water first. Yeah, just to see how this goes. All right. And the water temperature I measured was 38 degrees. Probably the coldest water I've been in with at all with my dry suit. It doesn't feel as cold as I anticipated. It doesn't? No. No, not yet. Alright. It's still pretty cold. Yeah. I'm like All right, I'm gonna stop recording while I get in. What do you think? Without, um, without a dry suit, that would be really cold. Yeah, yeah, well, that it, it, it would be really cold without a dry suit. Um, little, how's that feel? Not bad. No? No. Yeah, I think because of the insulation they have on the dry suit. Yeah, alright, alright, we're recording again. What do you think, bud? Alright, floating out here. Got a. Oh, yeah, I got. Here. 
It's working better. Yeah, I got. I felt like I got a little. What's that? Because I felt some cold water kind of come. I don't ever make it tight, but I did today. Uh, it's staying dry. I gotta try that. Felt a little water leak in. I would not, I mean, I don't know how long we've been in here, but I can definitely feel like my legs are getting cold. Maybe. If that. It's, I, now I have a lot more insulation up on my upper body. So I'm a lot warmer around. I'm starting to feel my, my legs. I mean, I'm not... I mean, I feel fine. My hand's really... My hand is really cold because my one glove got in the water. So, here you want to hold this. I'm going to... It's recording. It's still on. <laughs> Super hard to swim in all this. What did you do? I just jumped over the side where I couldn't touch bottom. Just another 20 feet out. And then tried to swim. And that was really hard. Yeah. I'm gonna try. I just jumped over the side. This about good, you think? Yeah. My hands are, are cold right now. The tips are kind of numb. But I mean, I think that would be the worst part. Like, I gotta feel like gripping stuff just because of my hands are cold, not because anything else. Yeah. I can definitely feel a difference in my legs now, like the, the temperature. Yeah. Like, you know, your outer part of your body starts to get cold.
John's really missing out on a lot of fun. I feel like at least I know. Yeah. So if you did get wet. Like, I couldn't imagine. Like, as cold as my hands are, I could not imagine. The rest of your body. If, if you, I didn't have, like, a dry suit. Yeah. Absolutely. And the life preserver is really helping keep, like, my chest warm. Yeah, that extra fleece can help. Um, but it definitely, it feels a lot colder now than when we first came in. Like, now, I feel like I'm starting to get, like, a little bit of shiver. Yeah. Like, you're not, good, yeah, I mean, the dry suit's going to be good for, you know, getting back in. But you're not... You're not gonna, it's not keeping you warm. You're not going to keep, well, I mean, a little bit warm, but you don't, you don't have hours. No. Before it's going to, but I couldn't imagine it'd be like, like, without anything. Like, my hands are, like, stinging. My fingertips are, are frozen. Starting to like now, the yeah, like I was starting to get a little shivery. Yeah. How'd that go? You alright? Yeah. How was it? It's really cold. <laughs> How's your head? You going in or you can... No, I'm okay. I feel like I should try it. Even though I purposely, like, no, I didn't swallow very much, but I did swallow some water. You could do it. Cool. <laughs> did my face go under? Yeah. It's like, it's like an instant brain freeze. Instant brain freeze. Oh, now I'm feeling it. Oh. Like you get an instant headache, like yeah. instantly. Oh, my hands. <sighs> oh. yeah. So if you didn't have the proper gear on and went submerged like that, I don't. But, I don't like, think you have good chances. No, I mean, I don't feel like I've lost any like muscle control yet. Like my hands are ice, like blocks of ice. Yeah. But, and I'm, my legs are getting cold. Yep. But I don't feel like I'm non-functional. So, this That's... is really going to extend how long you can be. Yeah. But, 
I feel like I thought this hat would be like soaking wet. Yeah. Did my head go completely under? Yeah, you went completely under. This is great because I don't feel like my head got wet much at all. Yeah, I feel like my head feels dry. Yeah. So, but the life jacket popped up quick, right? Yeah. So, my hands are the things like they're almost non-functional. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm starting to shiver now. How long we, I should have sent a stopwatch, but it has probably been maybe 15 minutes, if I had to guess. Which I feel like it's plenty of time to get back in. To get, but you know, if you know what you're doing. But if you had a, if you had any distance to go back. Like if you had any distance to travel afterwards, you mean? It's like to get back to where you launched from or to get to land. You don't think you'd warm up once you got back? I don't know. Like the air feels really cold. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. As long as you stay dry, I yeah, think like you'd be okay. Are, I'm going to have to go in a minute because my hands are dry. But if you were wet and you remained wet, that would be pretty bad. No. No, my hands are pretty cold at this point. Yeah, my leg, yeah. I wouldn't say it lost the control yet, but. But, yeah, it's my hands. I don't think it's very far behind. Yeah, kind of, I just have like fleece so. on. These are uh, like a neoprene. So I imagine your hands are probably much colder. Yeah. Although I could still. But this is what I would wear if I were. Yeah, I could still grip this. Now that I, I, I cinching up my neck seal, I hadn't cinched it at all. Not the, when I rolled the second time. Well, I mean the, when I actually rolled. Just when it wasn't tight, just tipping over, I got water. So. My feet are fine. Oh, my feet are fine. How was that? down the neck but not a lot
hands are freaking cold. That little bit of paddling really helped. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, we're off the water, a little bit warmed up now. And uh, so, what's your thoughts, bud? Um, it's cold. It's not protective gear. <laughs> Definitely in a bad place. Yeah, one, one last song. So how, what, was, what was the most cold on you? My hands. Treacherously cold, even with like wetsuit gloves, they were very cold. Yeah. Um, and any exposed skin was like shocking. Yeah, how was when you're rolled in and your face went under? Yeah, like instant brain freeze and, a, and, yeah. a, and like a headache right away from the cold air. It was, really sh it was definitely shocking. Shocking cold. But otherwise, like floating around out there? Fine. Fine. I think we could float around in protected clothing for. 30 minutes at least? Yeah, I think we were out there Safely. at least 20, 25 minutes in and out of the water. Um, here you wanna... So yeah, I, uh, this hat, it's like that was, I think, a difference from what Bud and I had. Um, and uh, so so for my hat, is your finger in the way? No. no. So for this hat, it really kept the, um, it's Gore-Tex, and I was surprised. My hair is like almost dry, and I went under my what, two or three, at least two or three times. Yeah. Um, so that made a huge difference because my ears didn't get cold, my face didn't. My hands were like, I, they became non-functional. I just had police gloves on, and you had some kind of neoprene gloves. Yeah, neoprene. So uh, this is a semi-dry suit. At first, I didn't have the, the neck cinched down at all, um, and I got some water in that way. After I cinched it down, it was it was much better. I still think I got a little bit of water that came in during the rolls, but I mean, not anything that I would concern myself with. And this is this is almost a ten-year-old dry suit, so it's a it's a little stretched out at this point. So feet are fine. You know, I've got I've got I've got some nice socks and these uh, NRS um, heavy neoprene boots on. So they look warm. They are warm. So yeah. So. 38 degree water temperature, 38 degree air temperature, and you know we we were in the water for at least 25 minutes or something like that, um, and now we're just standing out here and I'm I'm perfectly you know once I got my hands warmed up I'm perfectly fine so you know fell in water got back in you know, could all, you know if I if I could warm my hands up I could keep fishing but yeah, yeah for so. sure all right well that's uh I think that's the end of our experiment. We're gonna get a pack up, but um, I guess now we know, right? I'm curious how wet I am inside. <laughs> yeah, I right? feel a little wet on my back. Yeah, I got. I know in my crotch, I've got. I've got some water in, in mine too. So, all right, it's a it's a good test and something to do when uh, when we can't fish. <laughs> all right.